YouTube, what's going on? Bring you some more gameplay, mud head to head seasons. Playing some dude named JJ Clamps. I don't know what he think about that, but you not finna clamp me. Got me fucked up. Anyways, first play of the game. Nice little mid read to Calvin Johnson on the in route. He's rocking that Kyler Murray. I got Derrick Henry. I still got Derrick Henry. So a little quick hike verticals action. Crazy pocket. First down. Let me stop the cap. That was not crazy pocket. I just was not getting rushed. but So I just stayed calm and collected in the pocket. So now here I'm calling bunch drive again. I streak the slot man. That's a laser. Your man does not have acrobat. I am throwing that no matter what. No acrobat. That's like a linebacker. Dot in the end zone. Calvin against Calvin. He got Metcalf back there too. That's a touchdown. That's a tutty. That's a laser. That's a beam. He ran that three double buzz. I don't know why the fuck you gonna run three double buzz. But hey, in head to head seasons, you see all types of shit. And that's what kind of makes it interesting. You don't see 335 wide every play. You don't see, you know, stuff like this every game. And this is arguably the most annoying game I've played in a long time. All this dude runs all game is RPO trap and a stick route. Should have been a fumble. That's Odell Beckham out of position. And there he goes again with the trap play. All he's running is RPO trap bubble at a wide trio offset week. I think it is. I forgot what the formation was. It was something like that. And that's all he's doing. And when nothing's open, he just takes a check down, takes a check down, HB dive, check down, HB dive. I felt like I was playing the Dolphins offense, to be honest, because the Dolphins don't know how to move the ball. I'm a Dolphins fan, so I could say that we don't know how to move the ball. All we do is throw to the flats. We throw behind the line of scrimmage and pray. And then the one time we throw deep, we don't throw deep anymore. And now that should have been a sack. I don't care that he has a skate artist. That should have been a sack. Now it's second and four. He's going back to that again. But like I was saying, this dude is just so, so annoying. Do you see? Now he throws the bubble. And when I man up the bubble, he runs the ball. And when I do both, he throws an out route to Alvin Kamara. This is literally all he's doing. Another bubble. Richard Sherman, I'm pass coming in. I'm doing everything. He doesn't even want to get there. I don't even have zone drops on. Make matters worse, I'm shaded down. So there's hard flats on the field. And no, no. Alvin Kamara is the greatest running back of all time. And now he goes to empty halfback wide. I've never seen this before. He calls some play called seams. My guys get bumped. And boom, he's open. And I was really, really annoyed. So there... I called bunch drive with a crosser, cliff branch wide open. I'm four for four. He cannot stop me. He has no answer for me whatsoever. But in this game, you never know what to really expect. One mistake or any any error could easily cost you the game. And he's in cover three, so I run the cover three beater. Probably should have double juked instead of do that spin or five for five. And it's first and goal. Caught and dig return. And Jer Legereus Sneed, he's, he's acting like like Tra Trayvon Diggs. I don't know who he acting like. And that gets picked off off a of 6'5 Calvin. He pushes Calvin out of position somehow. That's not a PI. And boom. That happened. And it's a pick. So now I'm going to have to work a lot harder in this game than I originally anticipated. Because this guy, let's just say out of all due respect... He is not up to par. All he's going to do is run trap, throw a bubble screen, throw a flat route, and that's his offense. And if I'm going to be completely honest, how do people have fun playing like this? Someone in the comment section, please let me know. You see, I even have zero curls out there and they don't get to the bubble in time. Nothing's playing it. Nothing's playing anything. I'm trying to get a history. I'm trying to get a fumble. Nothing's working whatsoever. And I'm really, really frustrated. Uh, there's the offense right there. Trio offset weak. It's just 
so irritating. It's so irritating. It says first and ten. Takes a check down once again. That's all he knows how to do. He doesn't know how to throw the ball past five yards, let alone maybe three. So now there, we somehow stop him. Surprised we actually did stop him. He calls no huddle. I don't even remember what he called here. Oh, he called the same play again. And somehow we get a rough in the passer call. How? How does that happen, EA? Like, how? I know that I did not hit this, man. So I realize it's really going to come down to one of them games for real, for real. Where I have to work hard for no absolute reason as he just cheeses with Kyler Murray, hikes and runs, typical escape artist spammer. Then he comes in a strong jumble and goes in for the score. And I'm really, really pissed. <laughs> I am so pissed off because this guy is absolutely horrendous at the game. There's no other way to put it. He is horrendous at the game. This time I run a different setup and I... I don't understand what the flying fuck Marlon Humphrey is doing. Like, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what the fuck Marlon Humphrey is doing. Like, I was so confused, man. I had the Texas route. I just took off. I should have thrown the Texas route because I had a timeout. I probably would have had a chance to go out of bounds, too. Take the little C route there. But it's one of them games where you have to try hard for no absolute reason so now it's the end of half whatever happens here doesn't even count anyways but it's frustrating it's frustrating that there is no skill gap in this game ea bails out everyone well let me not say that ea bails out people that should not be bailed out and you know at this point is what it is you just got to put up with the bs somehow some way find a way to adapt and as i say that six seven ted comes through six seven ted coming through to save the game do we have a comeback in us i hope so i hope that you believe that i do have a comeback so we can make this comeback happen for the comeback and as i take my check down the same way he's been doing all game my only missed throw has been a pick you are not gonna stop me so that's my setup to be cover three, just streak R1. And that's all you really need. As you see, it beats it again. Yeah, I need to run that setup right there. I have not seen anyone run that setup. If someone has run that setup, please let me know. I am not trying to take credit for it, saying that I'm the one that created that setup. However, it is a setup that I really enjoy. As you can see, my crosser again. Beautiful quick hike verticals action right there. So nothing's really open take off with Henry I thank God he did not fumble there because I am not even a conservative like at all so now here I do the same thing that he did to me I take off with Henry touchdown 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 16 of 14 I'm on side kicking again I am being toxic because I definitely cannot stand this guy cannot stand this guy and as you see I get the fumble and this fucking guy recovers it how how so we finally get a stop on a bubble i was happy about that now he's chewing clock he knows he can't win so he's gonna do whatever he can to keep the ball away from me he knows he can't stop me i've only missed one throw with derrick henry he's 11 for for 12 but he got two of stats 11 for 12 for 72 yards what's the point of high completion percentage if you'd only thrown the ball for half a yard one yard now i am a tool fan but i just had to put that out there because they say all that man do is throw check downs he does not only throw check downs he throws dots he choked in the titans game as you can see i don't know what the hell my guy was doing and i was also shitted down by the way but anyways he throws dots he throws lasers he throws beams he just took a massive shit i have no idea what that read was guys no fucking idea what that read was anyways two is gonna be fine but now we're trying to trade for this guy again deshaun watson with all the allegations and as kyler murray does not fumble while he is not on conservative still chewing the clock by the way this happens and 
he still doesn't fumble again that is six seven ted blasting you laying the wood laying the lumber cleaning your clock as the famous mesomatic says cleaning your clock and we do not get any assistance whatsoever from ea and as you can see goes down again too many warnings so i got four timeouts technically as long as i get a stop throws the bubble again at a bunch tight end <laughs> And that's when I figured that he was in the Chiefs playbook because Chiefs playbook has that and triple out. So now I got to get a stop somehow. He thought he was paying Manning. He thought he could do that and not expect any type of punishment. And now he just lost five yards right there. So now I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. We get somewhat of a stop. He picks up three yards. I use my first time out minute 52 left if he scores here it is ggs now he goes to empty base so i want you to pay attention to this right here this is just stock mike blitz three and look at calvin johnson played the fuck out of that i was so happy calvin johnson with that pick artist he played the hell out that route that was a seam flat by the way i feel like maybe if it was curl flats or hard flats he would have scored right there but that was the seam flat and if you guys do not know, I'll say it, but most of you guys already know this, but seam flats is a part of match coverage. Like in cover four quarters, cover four palms, it is match coverage. So I take my check down. I probably had the I probably had my route up the field, but I didn't want to take any chances. I want to take as much clock as I can from him. Take my check down again. I'm chewing clock too. I'm not even gonna hold it. I am gonna chew clock. Double juke. Nice game. John Lynch missed the tackle. Stay inbounds, I believe. I know I got pushed out of bounds. I lied. I lied. I fucking lied. I catfish y'all boys. But now he's in double A gap. I don't know what he's doing. He knows he can't get a stop. And it's a minute left. We in field goal range. We got Justin Tucker. He only got one timeout. He cannot stop the clock. He will not get this ball back no matter what. So we're in a good position, but even though we're in this position, I was still annoyed because EA is making us work too hard for this. As you see, his bot ask off film study. Take the read option with Henry. Thank God he does not fumble. Run the clock all the way down. Three seconds left. He uses timeout thinking that's going to work. Like, dude, I got a million dollar kicker. If he's still a million coins, I should say. That man probably like 300k at this point. But best kicker in the game. Justin Tucker is not going to miss that. That's GG's. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It definitely should not have gone the way it did. He was not able to stop me whatsoever. He just got one lucky pick. That should have never happened. And that's how this game goes sometimes. Like y'all just got to... Find a way to stay calm if that even exists with this wonderful, lovely game that all of you guys love so much and dearly. And win. So I probably gonna have some streams coming through soon, y'all boys. Make sure y'all tune in, show some love, subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment, show some love. I'm going to be streaming again soon. My Twitch was down for a couple days. I do not understand why, but we are back up and running. Make sure y'all tune into that Twitch, Sweaty Santana. Y'all be easy. Happy New Year. Go grind.